Hello everybody! Yesterday we talked about six reasons why it's so important to work with expensive items when you dropship to eBay. But as I said in the previous video, one of the uh, problems when you work with expensive products is that it's very dangerous and you can be scammed by other uh, eBay buyers. So in this video we will talk about four steps that you need to do to avoid scams when you work with expensive products on eBay dropshipping business. So this is the uh, things why it's important to work with expensive products on eBay. Uh, it's less fees, it's much higher profits, less customer support, less competition, lower PayPal fees and high percent to cover uh, product fees for over a long period of time. I will not go over the things here on this video so you can just check previous video and get all this information. So which types of scams can happen when you work with expensive products on eBay and why uh, it can happen? The first thing is stolen credit cards. So let's say that uh, someone went and just stole a credit card from another person and then he just added this to his eBay account and then they just ordering a uh, and a lot of products, a lot of expensive products from you. In this case, you can just identify it by this that the buyer has very, very low number of feedbacks usually because they just steal a credit cards and then they are adding this to their buying accounts. The second thing is hacked accounts. Sometimes uh, any account with any number of feedbacks, it doesn't matter if this is a new account or a very old buying account, can be hacked by another person and then this person can just go and order from your expensive product to their houses. In this case, you can't really know if this is a scam or not a scam and you can check the feedback, see that everything fine with this buyer, but this is still a scammer because he just hacked the account. So how we can handle both of these cases and what are the steps that we must do to uh, stay on the safe side when we work with expensive uh, products on, on eBay. The third thing is the number of feedbacks. Usually if the buyer has less than five feedbacks, so this will be a scam. So just check the number of feedbacks. If it's less than five feedbacks, you need to communicate with the buyer and check that this is really a real person that this is not a stolen credit card, ask the buyer some questions, ask where is the address that he provided, compare the address of PayPal and eBay, so you will be on the safe uh, side. The second uh, step which I usually do when I work with expensive products is never ship expensive products immediately. I know that uh, it's better on eBay always to send the products on time, but what I suggest is to uh, block the auto ordering for products which are over $400 and wait one day before you ship these products. Because in this day, the client can change his mind or he can discover that his credit card was stolen and he can see that his eBay account was hacked. And in this way, just giving to the client one full day to cancel the order and then uh, you will be uh, safe. The next thing is ask the supplier for signature on the package. One of the things in PayPal's policy is that products over $750, if the, if the people, if the person who received the package will not sign that he received this, he will not be covered. This way for any order over $750 of the sale price, not buy price, the sale price, you must ask the supplier to request a signature from the person who re receives the uh, package. So if I work with Amazon and the product cost me, for example, $450, which is around $750 on eBay, I will ask Amazon to uh, get a signature from the person who get the package. This is super important and this way it will be covered on PayPal. Without it, you will not have any uh, seller protection on PayPal. The next thing, and I think this is one of the most important things here, is to compare the addresses, the address of PayPal and the address of eBay. If the buyer supply uh, you on eBay address number one, but on PayPal you see something different, you must communicate with the buyer and ask him what happened, why the two addresses are different, 
and tell him to cancel the order and create a new order with the same address as PayPal address. This way you will be on the safe side. So if you follow these four steps, you can get really huge profits when you work with expensive products on eBay, but you must be careful, you must follow all of these steps. Don't run to uh, place the order immediately just because you saw uh, an order and because you saw a huge profit. I know that when you have a huge profit, you want to uh, supply the order immediately to keep the profit for you, but it's better to keep it on the safe side and go over these steps. This is about how to work with expensive products, how to avoid scams. I really suggest you to uh, have around 20% of your store of expensive products. This is super profitable and super uh, important. I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Write in the comments if you had any kind of scams and how did you avoid them so uh, other people can learn for, from you. Also, if you, if you have any question, just write it under the video. See you on the next videos. Bye bye.